but then was three years old. I tried to integrate ln of one month e to the x, but I couldn't because I didn't have any special function for it. But today I do. So we'll see how to finish this right here. Of course, we'll take a u substitution, let u equal to e to the x, and we see that du is equal to e to the x dx, and dx is equal to du over e to the x, which is the same as u, so we'll just put that down right here. And now, we'll take this integral to the, not Disney world, but the u world. I know, Christmas is coming, but let's go to u world anyway. This is the integral ln and 1 minus u, and this right here is du over u. Very, very nice. Now, sometimes in the U world, it's not enough. We also have to bring our friends to the U world. This is one of our friends. But before we can talk about that one, let's talk about best friend. And this is the U version. Let me write it down for you guys. I'll put down 1 over 1 minus U. This is equal to the series as n goes from 0 to infinity, U to the nth power, like this. But unfortunately, our best friend has some limitation. Namely, absolute value of u has to be less than 1. Well, I need to get to L end though. Don't worry, just integrate both sides. Very nice. On the left hand side, we get Ln parentheses. Yes, I put down parentheses because 1 minus u is always non negative, right? Under this condition. And I will. Oh, this is also not equal to 0, so that's good. And I will also have to remember our loop chain because that's the reverse version of the chain loop. Divided by the derivative of 1 minus u, which is negative 1, right? So just divided by negative 1 right here. On the right hand side, go ahead and add 1, divided by the new power, that's how you integrate a power series. And we get the series as n goes from 0 to infinity, u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. Very nice. And technically, I should put down plus e somewhere, but if you put u equal to 0, this is 0 plus c, and then if we put 0, this whole thing is going to be 0, so in fact c is equal to 0, so c doesn't matter. Now, I'll fix this a little bit. Let me divide the negative 1 on both sides, so we get ln of 1 minus u, that's equal to negative. This right here is the series as n goes from. I see that we have n plus 1, n plus 1, so I want to minus 1, minus 1. But to come up... To compound this out, I will just have to make sure I add 1, add 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. What's infinity plus 1? It's still infinity, so that's not really nice. And here we just have u to the n over n like this. Very good. Now, this right here is the integral. This is what we got right here. So, negative series, well, the sum doesn't matter how you say it. And we have n goes from 1 to infinity, u to the n over n. And don't forget, we still have the u on the bottom. And we have the du right here. Very, very nice. Okay, then you see that we can put the negative on the outside. That's good. And we have the integral. And this over that, we can just subtract the powers. So inside here, we have the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity u to the n minus 1 over n, like this. And we are still in the u world. Very nice. And how can we integrate that? Well, as always, just go ahead and add 1 to the power. And the new power right here is n divided by the new power. So that's what we have. And we see that this right here gives us negative, And we have the summation right here, of course. n goes from 1 to infinity. And we have u to the nth power over n times n is, of course, n squared. And that's pretty much it. And on the outside, though, we have a uh, plus c. So just make sure that you have this only, right? The plus is outside of the summation, like that. But in the world, what's this? It's a new function, special function. Let me go over that with you guys. So here is the deal, right? This right here. Of course, I will do this in purple. I forgot about that. All right, here is some note for you guys. This right here, it's called the poly logarithm, right? Poly logarithm. Logarithm. And let me just show you guys that this is li. I don't know why it's li, but it's just a notation, just bear alone, right? So, 
polylogarithm, the notation for that is li, and it has the index. Uh, the index, let's label that with s. And the input right here, let's label it with x. This right here is defined to be the series as n goes from 1 to infinity, and we have the x right here to the nth power, and then divided by n to the s power, like this, right? And this right here, if you want to enter this on like Wolfram Alpha, the command is going to be poly log, like this, with a parentheses and the s, comma, x, like this, right? So I'll just put it down like this so that you don't get confused with the uh, parentheses. So that's the command if you want to enter this on Wolfram Alpha. And you might notice this is really similar to one of the really famous function. Yes, it is. The Riemann's data function, right? So I will just remind you guys, recall, well, let me see if I can still write the theta. It's pretty bad, but I'm sorry. Anyway, Riemann's data function says, this right here, if the input is s, this is equal to the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over n to the s power. So what's the connection between the Riemann's data function and then the polylogarithm? It's just when x is equal to 1, isn't it? So let me just put down this right here for you guys. We know that li s of 1, this is nicely equal to the Riemann theta function. <laughs> I just cannot write this, I'm sorry. But anyway, uh, yeah, so if you put 1 right here, that's pretty much it. And you see that, of course, right here we're using u for the input, and this I use x. And the index right here is 2, so you just have to make sure you write that down. So here we go. This right here is equal to, I'll still keep the negative in green, right? And here we have the series, but notice that again, this right here is our index, which is li, and we have the little 2 right here, and the input is the u, like this. Very nice. And then, of course, we have the plus c. Are we done though? No because we have to go back to the x world, and the x was e to the x for the u. So all in all, this is negative li2, and this is e to the x, and then plus c, just like that. So, man, I've been waiting for like over 30 years to be able to do this integral. Very, very cool. All right, so this is it. I think this is really cool, and I will tell you guys a little bit more things about this, because this is also connected to the best friend in some way, right? Because Li0 of x, in fact, just x times the best friend. And I will go over that uh, next time for you guys. Anyway, hopefully you guys all like this video. If you do, please give me a like. Thank you guys so much. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Thank you so much. And as always, that's it.